If you want to stay with the way things have been since you were born and being lied to and all that, there is absolutely no opportunity for you here whatsoever. But if your mind's been opened up and you've been lightened and you're ready to come out of the matrix, Walsenburg is a place to be. There's nothing but love, peace, compassion, and community service, and you need to be here. I would say, wow, what an amazing place that you live in, first of all. Gorgeous, and we happen to be in, in some of the most gorgeous parts of Walsenburg. Um, and feeling that the, the energy of the earth and the people who are showing up here are showing up because they're being called here from this place. This place is calling for change, is calling, is, is, is reaching out energetically saying, I'm ready to be supporting community. I'm ready to be doing a different kind of life. We want to let people know that there are opportunities available here. And what we're looking for are people who are, who have a vision, we share a vision, and uh, we're working from the ground up to uh, create a system that can benefit everybody um, and in a more equitable way. This creates abundance for more people. Everything's provided for us through a minimal amount of work and contributionism. Yeah, you know, what do you need as a community? It's all actually here. Mm -hmm. You have the wood, you have the earth, and you have the water. And, and you have the people. You just and have the to, people, yes. and it's really all about the people. Mm -hmm. So, we can do it together. Yeah, we can. Yeah. And that's why I came from Massachusetts, to participate and see actually what's happening in this small town. Mm -hmm. Really a community. Grow our own vegetables, make our own life. Oh, it's so that uh, helps to build a, a self-sustained community, you know, so we can have uh, food for the people here and uh, maybe even grow enough to have a surplus, you know, and, and this will be a prototype, you know, for expanding. I hope to get this, you know, get this to catch on, that the local people see what we're doing here and uh, maybe inspire them to do their own garden. Get them active in where food comes from. We are the uh, the the first step for people in the in the town to get into doing this, and then they will be with us to go and get more land. And that's the point: is getting the community to realize they can be a part of it and take slowly, get more and more uh, abundance. That's the whole point. We're trying. You can, food is the best and first one everybody's going to be interested in. We want greenhouses all over this if possible. And then get the community active, get the kids involved, especially the school with the kids. We got a garden for them we want to build. We want them in the garden. So it's all circular and it ends up helping everybody. And it's a collective effort. So there are people from all over the country coming together to Walsenburg to put our hands in the dirt and do something, actualize this Ubuntu philosophy. With people we love. With people we love. <laughs> it starts with food. It starts with food. Water, housing, energy crucial elements to a community surviving and thriving. And here we are, we're getting going with it. <laughs> Let's see, we worked uh, probably two hours, but there were like 10 people, so uh, we, we got a lot done in a short period of time, thanks to their help and, uh, and their enthusiasm. We're just helping out, doing our part. We're gonna have us a beautiful garden here. To be like from this place and, and already be living here and have the opportunity to engage in that energy. We need more people. I mean, we got if we if we didn't have uh, the Ubuntu group come down, we wouldn't uh, have been able to accomplish a lot of this. So, what it actually means for the town is that we are a lot of people that can and are willing to roll up our sleeves for projects. We there's a willingness to move. They all they need is a bit of direction to explore. The, the Ubuntu aspect of it is that there's a lot of opportunity for growth here where a little effort would go a long way. So that's the main thing is the mindset. The people here have a lot more open minds. They're ready for new technologies, new ideas. There's some amazing potential in this town of Walsenburg. So this is the Ubuntu community and we are here to help meet with locals and assist them in, in their efforts and they're trying to help uh, awaken this town to once again be a productive 
place of working, uh, except this time it will be something that is worth working for instead of working for the corporate interest that was before. This is for the people. Yes, we have coal on the ground. To a large degree, that ship has sailed. But what that means is that we have the labor force that pulled that coal out of the ground. The, the descendants are still here. And all they're, they're waiting for something to do. We, have, we now have the technological aspects of it being able to bring it into the 21st century. And that pushes everything forward even more. It's filled with activists. That's the amazing thing. There's people here with groups for everything. So we're all sort of teaming up. Like that's, that's one of the things is supporting each other. Um, and the town gets out of the way for those people. So Frank has a chance, Brian has a chance of doing it. So, and they are, so it's like supporters. So that's why we have to come down here. <laughs> Absolutely, of course it's to create a model. I mean, I've been trying to do this in different cities, but I never found anybody with the drive that uh, people here in town have for this. So we got a ton of support. This blueprint, this plan of action that we have, this one small town, Wolstenberg is the one small town, but yours could be too. We can kind of be free to create uh, what we create our own vision here. So that's what that's what I like about Walsenburg. And there's still there's um, uh, inexpensive property and um, plenty of water. So that's why I'm here. And what is it that you want to see? You know, what do you want to create? Um, in this place you know look at it that way because anything's possible especially when we come together and we help each other and we share resources opportunities are there for for uh, prosperity and I, I know the word growth is kind of scary to some people but there's a there's a way for everyone to prosper and that's what we're that's what we're working t towards Give your heart up to the Lord. Love to live is our only way. Love is what we're